Did you know about the three types of airflow patterns in pharma clean rooms? These airflow patterns should be selected carefully and suitably depending on the process which is to be carried out in that clean room. Hi, I'm Omkar Tilwe, a clean room engineering coach and in this video you will learn the three airflow patterns in pharma clean room. To begin with, the first one is unidirectional airflow pattern which is also termed as laminar airflow and here the air stream lines are parallel to each other. The velocity in unidirectional airflow is maintained sufficiently low to keep the contaminants directed downwards and also to keep the particles from settling onto the surfaces. The second airflow pattern is the non-unidirectional airflow pattern. This is also referred to as turbulent airflow pattern because the air streamlines are random and there is no definite pattern in them. The air is supplied through plenum HEPA or terminal HEPA which also distributes the air evenly in the clean room. The velocity here is much higher compared to the unidirectional airflow system. The third airflow pattern is mixed airflow pattern which is a combination of laminar and turbulent airflow patterns. This approach is used in case there are critical and non-critical zones in the same clean room. The quantity of filters installed in the critical zone is more than the quantity of filters installed in the non-critical zone. Here the air is canalized downwards over the critical zone which is in the form of laminar airflow pattern before it diffuses into the non-critical zone which is in the form of turbulent airflow pattern. Therefore, the mixed airflow pattern is a combination of laminar airflow and turbulent airflow. So these were the three types of airflow patterns in pharma clean rooms. If you are a pharma clean room engineer who wants to build your influence in the pharma industry, then download my dynamic influence building guide which is a six step system which will help you slingshot your career growth in the pharma industry and these six steps i've developed from my own experience as a pharma clean room engineer and this has helped me a lot and i think and it will help you too also if you want to learn deeper concepts about pharma clean rooms then you can go to my youtube channel omkar tilwe and deep dive into that knowledge Thank you for watching this video.